Clinical trials in cancer are normally trials to see if a new treatment is better than the standard treatment. So we are always trying to improve on what we're doing. We're always trying to improve on side effects and efficacy and tolerability. The patients benefit in two ways. First of all, they benefit because they get the new treatments. Secondly, it means that there are more people focusing on their illness. So more people are not just measuring what's happening in terms of biochemistry and radiology, but seeing how they are. And doctors and nurses are more likely to know more quickly when things aren't going right. It's really important that we get patients fully informed consent before we do any procedures in a clinical trial. They should be aware that even if they do sign and they want to say yes and go for the study, that they have the opportunity to pull out of the study at any point. Some studies involve two different treatment arms or sometimes three or four different treatment arms. So we have to get across difficult to understand procedures like randomization. And this is where patients enter the study but they are randomly assigned onto whichever arm. And it's just so that there's no bias in the study, so that we've got equal numbers of patients of different ages, for example, in each of the different treatment arms. I'm currently involved in the REACT clinical trial, which is testing certain types of anti-inflammatories and their role in preventing the recurrence of certain types of breast cancers. Um, all that it involves is actually taking two tablets every morning. I don't know whether the tablets are actually the drugs or whether they're just placebos. They don't tell you that on this particular test. And that's all there is to it. I would ask every woman that's received a diagnosis of breast cancer to think very seriously about taking part in clinical trials because really the treatment that you're about to receive which is probably going to prevent your breast cancer coming back is only there because other women have actually taken part in trials before you and in a way maybe it's the legacy that you can give to the women who come behind you. I would say by taking part in a clinical trial you may benefit yourself. Secondly, even if you don't it is unlikely that the new treatment is going to make anything worse. And thirdly, you will be helping other people.